Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals with your first alert storm team forecast. The Gulf of Mexico fairly calm, but the Western Caribbean is dealing with Alberto, the first named storm of the season. It's not moving. It's a minimal storm with 40 miles an hour, but yes, it is actually a subtropical storm. And you know what tropical storms are? You've been dealing with them all your life. It's a storm with no fronts, strong wind around the middle. But in the winter and other times of the year, we get regular storms. It might have a front and it's windy everywhere. Well, subtropical is a hybrid of both of those. It really doesn't change the potential impact if it's approaching. So this is what we focus on. It will likely become a regular tropical storm with winds of 65 miles an hour by midday Sunday, also midday Monday. It may hit hurricane strength, not that it would stay there, but like all systems, it's going to fluctuate on the wind and which way it's moving. By Monday, it could be on land or it could be offshore anywhere within the circle, which covers over 250 miles from west to east. So we don't know exactly where it's going to be, but some things are fairly certain. Right now, what we know, tomorrow afternoon, that system will still be in the southern Gulf of Mexico. We'll have our normal rain, it's like we had today, a little rainier than typical. By Sunday, computer projections bring it into the northern Gulf of Mexico. Note the shift in the wind. Saturday, we have a little more of an onshore wind. Sunday, it might become an offshore wind, depending upon whether it's southwest, south, or southeast of us. And these are just some of the variables. But as it gets closer on Sunday, that's where at the coast, the winds are going to start picking up. So you have a tropical storm watch now, and that means within the next two days, you could start feeling tropical storm force winds along the coast, especially along our bays, places close to the Gulf of Mexico. There's also a storm surge watch for the potential by Sunday of two to four feet of storm surge or water being pushed uphill into the rivers that will rise. That also covers coastlines, rivers, and bays. Starting tomorrow, we'll go under a flash flood watch, not because tomorrow will be the wettest day, but because you have to start watching for Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. And here's just one projection of rain through Monday evening, five to six inches along the coast, inland about two to three inches. Now, even if the system makes landfall Monday, there's going to be more rain. So look at this five-day projection. And what this shows through Wednesday, you could see four to five to six inches of rain along Highway 84 and eight to 12 inches of rain along our coastline. Now, that's adding up Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Either way, you've got to be prepared for the threat of flooding. Not this evening, though. Thunderstorms fairly quiet, unless you're north of Evergreen, north of Liefeon and Burnt Corn. You've got some small thunderstorms there, but they come back tomorrow. Rain coverage in your Green and Phillips forecast, 60% in the morning, 70% in the afternoon. Look how quiet the Mobile River is. All is quiet and peaceful, and you have time to just take your precautions now, so that way you don't panic at the last minute in case something changes. So here's your forecast projection tomorrow afternoon, 3 o'clock, scattered thunderstorms. Now, those will not be directly related to Alberto. On Sunday, the thunderstorms that pop up will be related. We're not sure, again, where it's going to be offshore, but we'll be watching it day by day. Here's your extended outlook. Rain coverage, 70% uh, tomorrow, 90% on Monday and Tuesday. Those will be the breezier or windier days. Just stay updated.